All right, what's up guys? This is Scott here again. Got a quick video for you all today. And in this one here, I'm gonna show you all how to take advantage of the order templates feature in Thinkorswim, which I think is gonna help you guys save a lot of time and hassle if you find yourself using the same kinds of trades or the same orders basically over and over and over again. Right, so essentially with these order templates, as the name suggests here, you can quite literally save a template of a certain kind of trade. And that way, the next time you wanna make that trade, you can pull up your template, which already has most of your configuration set. At that point, you might wanna change just a few things, perhaps just the pricing of that order, and then you can just send it. And this feature here is something that I definitely use a lot in my own trading because I do use a lot of complex hedging orders for my option positions. And so having to recreate those orders from scratch every single time would be a huge time waste and a huge hassle. But because I save these hedging orders, as I'll show you in this video, as templates, it makes my life a whole lot easier. Now, real quick, if you guys are interested in getting some free stock or quite literally some free money, I've got some cool opportunities and promotions in the description of this video, so check them out, right? So for example, if you want 200 bucks of free stock from Tastyworks or a bunch of free stocks from Weeble, free money from SoFi, etc., then again, check out the links in the description of this video. And then secondly here, in case you're brand new to the channel, again, my name is Scott, and I just wanna let you know that you can find me on Skillshare as well, where you can take my very detailed classes on options trading or stock market investing. And I also provided some links to a few of my introductory courses in the description of this video as well. So be sure to check them out, and when you sign up for Skillshare using any of those links, you'll get a full one month free trial. All right, so now diving in here, and so the stock I'll be using in all my examples in this video is going to be with Apple. No particular reason, I just like the company. So now let's go over to the Trade tab in Thinkorswim. And so for the three main examples I'm gonna show you here now, I will demonstrate how to use order templates in Thinkorswim, either for stock orders on Apple or for option orders. You can definitely use this feature in both ways. And so as our first basic example here, let's say you'd like to use stop limit orders on Apple to basically cut your losses on your stock positions. Now, normally in Thinkorswim, if you wanted to create that kind of order from scratch, you would have to go first up to the current price of Apple then click on that. And then perhaps let's say you wanna set up a sell stop limit order. So we'll go to sell here for Apple. And so that brings up down here a very simple sell order to sell by default 100 shares of Apple stock but perhaps you don't personally buy shares of Apple stock in increments of 100 shares, right? For example, maybe you typically only purchase 50 shares of stock whenever you put on a new position. So therefore, whenever you are creating a stop loss order as we're doing here, which will sell your shares to cut losses, of course, the number of shares with this order has to match the number of shares you initially purchased. So the first thing you'll have to change with this order is by reducing this amount down to only 50 shares. And then over here, as you can see right now, this is a simple limit order, not a stop limit order. So now you'd have to click on this button here and go to stop limit. And then also, if you're like me, instead of using standard pricing on this order, I personally use mark pricing, which basically tells this order here to judge the price of Apple stock based on the bid ask prices of the stock. And in my experience, this is the most accurate way to judge the fair price for either a stock or an option, a futures contract, etc. And then finally, one more thing you might want to change is change this day order by default and set it to a GTC or good till cancel order. And so there you go. Assuming you first bought 50 shares of Apple stock. And now in this case, you're trying to set up a stop limit order to potentially cut your losses if things go bad. As you can see here, there's a lot of steps you would have to go through to create this order from scratch. And therefore, if you do happen to trade Apple a lot, like most people do, then having to create this kind of order many, many times over and over again would certainly be a big hassle. So now before you go ahead and click confirm and send to actually send in this order, click this button first, which is right next to the delete button, right? Because this button here will actually save a template of your entire order here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then as you can see, a small window opens up where you can enter a name for your custom template. So this one here by default is a bit long. Let's go ahead and change this to perhaps Apple stop limit. And then once you have that done, you can go ahead and click save. And so now the next time you want to use this order again, perhaps on a different Apple trade, you no longer have to set up this order all over again from scratch. So now let me go ahead and delete this order. And then if you go back up to the current price of Apple stock and click on that, at this point, instead of going to just sell, now we'll go to sell custom. And then because this order is on Apple, we'll then go to the A through C category. And then boom, there you go. My Apple stop limit order is right here. 
And then also, as you can see, I do have templates for a lot of other stocks already saved as well. So now I can just click on Apple Stop Limit, and there you go. It brings up the exact same order I just made by scratch to sell 50 shares of Apple stock. It's a stop limit order using mark pricing, and it's also a GTC order ready to go. So therefore, the only manual step I have to complete before sending in the order is to configure the actual prices of my order here. Right, basically I have to set my stop price and my limit price, and that's it. Okay, so that was our first basic example. Now let's take a look at something a bit more complex. So I'll go ahead and delete this order. And now we'll take a look at the actual option chain for Apple. And for the sake of example, let's go into this June monthly expiration, unfold that tab here, and we'll scroll down a bit to the at the money options. And so using order templates for option trades are very useful if you typically use more complex strategies that are not offered by default through Thinkorswim. And of course, also, you can still set up pretty basic orders as well with options. For example, you can create a stop limit order as well just for one option contract. Totally up to you. But like I was saying, there still are a lot of complex option strategies offered through Thinkorswim by default. So for example, if I right click on this 147 strike put option and then we go to sell, as you can see here in this panel, Thinkorswim does allow you to create a vertical spread trade automatically or a backslash ratio spread, diagonal spreads, straddles, strangles, butterflies, iron condors, etc. So of course that's very useful, but there are still many strategies that are not offered in this little panel right here. For example, one such strategy is called the Christmas tree strategy. So briefly here, I'll go ahead and set up that order, which is definitely pretty complex. And so the first step here is to purchase one at the money option, either a put option or a call option, but for this case, we'll just do puts. And so the 150 strike put option here is currently at the money. So we'll go ahead and buy this contract. And so here you go down below. This is the beginning of our more complex order. But before I proceed adding more contracts here, there is one thing I have to do. And down below on the left hand side, you can see advanced order right now by default, it's set to just a single order, which means only one option contract order can exist down here below. I can change the quantity of contracts here, either to buy or sell them, but I can't add more contracts underneath. So again, I'll change this back to one contract and now I'll change this advanced order type to blast all. And this means for any additional option orders I add below this first one here, once I finally confirm and send everything, it's gonna send all those orders in at once. And so now the next step of putting on the Christmas tree strategy is going a few bucks out of the money and selling three put option contracts. So in this case, I'll go to the 148 strike and click on the bid price for that one. And boom, here you go. That adds a new sell order to sell the 148 strike put options. And then, like I said, I'll change this to three total contracts. And then finally, the third step of putting on the Christmas tree strategy is to go even further out of the money and buy two more put options. So perhaps I'll go to the 147 strike and click on the asking price of that one. And there we go. Once again, it adds a new order to this whole package here. And again, I'll change this to two contracts of the 147 strike put options. Now, definitely don't worry if this strategy here does not make any sense to you or if it's a bit confusing. The point here is not to understand what the Christmas tree strategy is. All I'm trying to do here is demonstrate the fact that if you do happen to use more complex strategies that are not offered in Thinkorswim by default, then using order templates would be very useful for you. Right, so again, it would definitely be a big hassle to have to create this exact big order every time I wanted to place a Christmas tree strategy on Apple or on any stock. So once more, before I hit confirm and send, I'm now gonna go ahead and save this as an order template. And also I'll go ahead and change the name here. I'll call it Apple Christmas Tree. Good enough. So then we'll go to save. Great, and so now if I wanted to use this strategy again at some point, there's a slightly different step I have to take to pull up that template once again, right? So instead of going to the current price of Apple and clicking on that and going to buy or sell custom, because this is an option template, I now have to go to only just the option chain. And so for the first contract, I want to be a part of my Christmas tree order, I simply go to that option. So in this case, let's go to the 144 strike put option and right click on that one. And then now here I can go to buy custom, go to A through C and then Apple Christmas tree. And here we go. This is the order once again to buy one contract of the 144 strike put option. Now, one unfortunate thing is the other strikes for the different put options are a little bit messed up, right? Basically the strikes of these two put options should be below the 144 strike. So you will have to change those here. In which case for my three short put option contracts, I'll change that strike to perhaps the 142 strike. And then for my other two long contracts, I'll change the strike here to perhaps the 141 strike. 
But besides that, everything else is already configured here, and I do not have to create this entire order again from scratch. And then lastly in this video, I will also show you how I personally use order templates here to defend my own option positions, right? So basically my entire strategy is I sell naked options, either naked calls or naked puts, and then if the stock moves against my trade and actually crosses my strike of either my calls or my puts, at that point, I will either buy or short shares of the stock. So for example here, let me go ahead and delete this. Let's say I simply sold this 155 strike call option on Apple. So this would be a naked call option, which means I do have theoretically unlimited loss potential if I'm wrong on this trade and Apple simply skyrockets over the course of this expiration cycle. So like I said, if Apple does cross my call strike here of 155, at around that point, I'm gonna purchase 100 shares of the stock. And therefore, in doing so, I will convert this initially naked call option into a covered call option. And as a result of that, it would not matter how much higher Apple goes after that point. But then of course, if that does happen, right? If Apple does go above 155, but then turns around and falls back down below 155, I will have to sell those shares for a small loss and then carry on. But in some cases, that kind of thing could happen many times where Apple basically repeatedly goes above and falls back down below my call strike over and over and over again. So ultimately here, I needed a way to basically create a chain reaction of orders that would repeatedly buy and sell the stock for certain prices that I would specify. And so fortunately, Thinkorswim here does offer the ability to do that, but having to create those kinds of orders from scratch every time would be a huge, huge hassle. So now because I have these orders saved as templates, I can simply come up to the current price of Apple, click on that, then go to buy custom, A through B, Looks like things changed a bit here because I did actually have to go back and create this order template for Apple in particular, which now you can see it right here, just called Apple, click on that, and boom, here you go. So this is basically a chain reaction of eight total orders that will repeatedly buy and sell Apple stock over and over and over again. And the way I can ensure that each one of these orders is executed sequentially, not all at once, is by now using the first trigger sequential advanced order type. Right before, I was using the blast all order type, which again, sends all the orders in at once. But now in this case, because I want it to be a chain reaction, a sequential execution basically, that's why I changed it to first trigger sequential. And also take note that each one of these orders is a stop limit order in itself that uses mark pricing and they're all GTC orders. So just like in the very first example where I set up only one stop limit order right on Apple, as you saw, there were a lot of things I had to do to set up just one of these orders. But now imagine having to do that eight times in a row for all eight of these orders. That would be a huge, huge hassle. Now in this case, I still do have to change all the pricing for these orders. That's one thing I still have to do by hand, and it's a little bit tedious, but not nearly as bad as having to create this whole thing over again from scratch every time. And so there you go. That's how you can use order templates in Thinkorswim. And hopefully this feature can save you a little bit of time and frustration in your own trading. And so with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please let me know your thoughts or if you have questions in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you want some free stock or some free money, then check out the opportunities and promotions I have in the description of this video. And also, if you want to take some very detailed classes on options trading or stock market investing, then check out my Skillshare courses. Links also in the description of this video. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I drop new videos every single week, and you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.